What's going on guys? The Camel Korean here, back at you with another bass fishing video. In this video it contains eight different clips over a five week period of me catching my big and biggest bass during this time frame. Now all these bass are caught at night and if you've been following my channel and subscribe you would see that some of my videos are nighttime bass fishing. One, bass are mainly a nocturnal predator. Uh, another thing, they feed heavily at night, which is early morning or late evening, hence nighttime fishing, basically. Another reason I do a lot of nighttime fishing is because of my work schedule. But also, the main reason is my biggest and bigger bass are caught at night. So I want to share, before I start this video, what I use to catch these bass. To start off with, this is the hook that I use the most. It's a 4 aught extra wide gap hook. I do have 3 aught, 2 aught, 1 aught, and 5 aught hooks. For all my Texas rig setups, I use this hook. It's my favorite, and this particular brand is a Gamagatsu. I love it, and it works well with most of my baits that I use. Uh, the bullet weight that I usually have it with is either a 3 16 ounce or a 1 8 ounce uh, bullet weight, which I use. Uh, the knot that I use the most when tying this hook is a Palomar knot. That is, to me, one of the strongest knots there is and all around best knot. A lot of my soft plastics, sometimes I do use these right here. These are glass beads, if you can see. Most of them have three little beads in it, uh, some have two, but I'll just answer them and at night, since the bass have very low visibility, you can hear the rattle just a little bit. So it helps out when I'm letting it drag on the bottom or bumping it, letting it go up and down, yo-yo technique and whatnot. So I love these things. You could get these, I found at Bass Pro Shop, get a 50 pack for $9.99 plus tax. Or you could order them online for a little bit cheaper. Now the saw plastics I use, uh, I have made a video of my uh, first tackle warehouse order. So I got these uh, big bite brand crawfish. I will leave a link down below so you can check it out and see what I've got so you can get the same thing. But right here, awesome details on these crawfish. I believe in this video my first big bass that I have shown is a uh, four, about a four and a half pound bass and I uh, cut it off of this guy right here. Very nice detail. It's actually hollow on the inside but Texas rig it. Uh, I don't think I had a glass bead in it so it was just a regular Texas rig. Just creeping it along the bottom and uh, boom! Uh, here's another crawfish bait. Love the color on here. Now these two crawfish that I've shown you right here they are flavored too so I do believe strongly in flavored baits. Just keeps those bass holding on a little longer till you set the hook. And this right here, great color. I use this at night time too for fishing and basically for when I'm looking for big bass. I've even had little half pound bass take these in too. So pretty much a good bass bait. Those two crawfish are very good stuff. So again, I will leave a link so you guys can check out that video. And uh order it from Tackle Warehouse. Another bait I use is this crawfish. Uh, I mainly use this a lot on a chatter bait or jig as a trailer. I It's very hard to find this particular crawfish. This is an older one. Um, I've got it when I was a little kid so I just love the action on it. Love the color. It's a black and purple crawfish not scented just a regular soft plastic I believe it's made by culprit so this is just another thing that I use and uh, and also the last 
type of uh, soft plastic I use is just an original curl tail black worm. This is another culprit product right here. Simple, floor deficient. You want to use black, blue, purple, dark green colors. They get the bass biting. And usually if I am using a crawfish or a uh, black or dark colored worm, I'll throw it on a jig and in this video uh, one of the ba big bass that I catch is off a uh, half ounce jig head. It, it, I don't think it was with this trailer. This is a completely different trailer, but you get the point right here. And it also rattles. Big time on rattling, especially when you're doing nighttime fishing. You want those bass to hear it, come after it, and get it. Another thing, one of my top five baits to use year round is black and blue chatterbait right here. This right here is a half ounce black and blue chatterbait. Um, in this video I used, it didn't have this black part, it was actually silver and I used this as a trailer. Great bait for catching bass. Love it. And the last bait that I used is this Lunker Hunt square bill crankbait. I love square bill crankbaits, especially two and a quarter, two and a half ounce crankbaits. And this particular one it is very loud. So that last bass I caught about a four and a half pound bass right off of this guy. Those are the baits that I use to catch at night. So basically I go with a Texas rig, chatterbait, spinnerbait type deal, or square bill crankbait. Depending on what size it is, I always stick to a darker color, either uh, black and red or blue and red, but always have the red color in it. it. resembles a crawfish, but I don't think, you know, bass can really see color at night. They just see, you know, a dark silhouette moving by or, um, you know, just reflections. I don't know, but that is basically the colors I stick with. Darker colors and that more natural green green tannish brown color so hopefully uh you guys watch this video to the end uh, i also have my pb in here at the time so i do hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do please like and subscribe for more videos to come thanks for watching and enjoy Alright, look at this bass. Nice little chunk. Snuck up on me too. That's a nice one. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's kind of dark here. This string is all wrapped up around him. Nice. Nice. I say probably about three and a half pounds. Let's get a lead on this guy. Alright, so we got it zeroed out. <whistles> Dang, we got a four pound, 11 ounce bass right here. Pound eleven ounce. Yeah. All right, let's let this guy go. Got a four pound, eleven ounce bass. He's a 
this guy. Yes. That's what I'm talking about.
Jesus, man. Is my new PB right there? Six pounds, three ounces. It's going to go up from there now. This is good stuff. Jig, the crawfish trailer. All right, getting it done. about a five and a half pound bass. Let's see what else. See how much this guy weighs. I don't know. 
ounces, almost six pounds. Five pound eleven. This five pound eleven ounce bass bill. That six pound bass almost. That was another bass that same size. Yep. Wow. Hey, this is probably a five pounder. Five pound, thirteen ounce bass right here, guys. Five pound, thirteen ounce. Nice. chunk. That is what I am talking about. <laughs> Not the big bass. Square bow crankbait right here by Lunker Hunt. I was reeling this guy in really slow. Look at this. Wow. I'd say this is probably about a three and a half pounder. Let's check it out. Alright, got this guy zeroed out, there you go, let's see what this guy is, what we got here? Oh 
this bass just broke my, my thing. Yeah. So yeah. This bass right here just broke my scale, but before it broke it, I got a glimpse. It was about a four pound, 10 ounce bass. So there you go. Look at this guy. Leave you broke my scale. That sucks. Well, YouTube, this is my collection of uh, big bass that I catch chunks, nice ones. I love fishing this pond. Please like, comment, subscribe. And as always, my friends, tight lines and keep fishing.